Yo, what is good everybody? What is popping y'all? It is, of course, your boy Jonesy. What's going on, fam? So the other day, my boy Brian, he posted this photo up on his Instagram story. Now, mind you, this boy's had a YouTube channel for a long time now. This dude is so funny. Of course, we've been waiting for this dude to drop a video throughout all of 2020, but of course, we never got one because we all know how 2020 went. So boom, he posted the video and I clicked on it. I almost watched it, but I stopped myself. I, I told myself, I'm like, yo, it would be such a good idea if I react to this. Like, can I do that? So I hit Brian up and I asked him like, yo fam, is it okay if I react to this? And he's like, nah, for sure, bro. And so that's what we finna be doing today, man. So listen, bro, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also make sure you go check out my boy Brian's YouTube channel. Again, it's at Laughable ENT. My dude is so funny. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. With that being said though, fam, let's get right into the video. It's popping. <laughs> Now, in no way am I bashing women or little girls for making OnlyFans. Okay. But do I think that it's sad that little girls are making OnlyFans? Yes. No, that's facts though. I feel like there's definitely a certain age, 18, definitely 18 or older, where you should possibly even 21, bro. Because there's a lot of freaking sickos out there who just be going on OnlyFans to see 18 year old girls who just turned 18 and they're finally legal and they're putting their bodies out there. Like, I'm just saying, bro, be careful on OnlyFans, dog. You never know what kind of creeps are going to be out there, you know? Now, I don't think. I don't think I'm ever gonna understand why you grown men are paying money to see women in lingerie, big pics, or these little girls and only fans. I just said that, bro. I just said that. I listen, bro. Don't be a. <laughs> Look, now I know it's cringy. I know it's cringy, but I gotta bring these tough statements to the forefront because if not me, then who? If not you, then me. It, 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 Fellas, why are you truth, spending bro. your hard earned your money truth. when you know the hub is free? The, the hub. hub. <laughs> he said, "Why are you paying when you know the hub is free?" That's big facts, though, bro. Like, if you if you have the urge, there's literally a thing called Google. Use it. Okay, look, look, look. Another question: How many of you fellas were severely disappointed when you coughed up that twenty dollars to pay for OnlyFans? Just to find out that she's not posting anything scandalous. She's not posting. I mean, that's a good point, though. I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure it's like blocked or whatever. Like, you can't actually see a content creator's content on OnlyFans. Like, you have to pay for it before you're able to like see anything. But just understand that, bro. Like, you know, like there's a risk that comes to you know paying for anything online. You know, if you're gonna take that risk, you know, you may be disappointed upon making that purchase, bro. So just be careful, man. Is it? Isn't that also what? Oh, oh, oh. What's her name? Bella Thor. Didn't she like finesse like the whole system and then? <laughs> They had to change so many rules because of that, bro. I don't know. I just think that's so funny, bro. Now, hold on, ladies. Here's a question for you. Here's a question. How many of y'all started an OnlyFans account thinking that this business was sweet? I'm gonna let that breathe. Let's just let it breathe. Nah, you got competition. You must have thought that these fellas were just gonna come hold flocking on, Brian. because you got an OnlyFans hold on, Brian. now. You thought business was gonna be easy. Hold on, Brian. Be a. Hey, be 100% transparent. You thought business was gonna be easy, <laughs> so you made it only fans. Look, I'm a, I'm a numbers guy, so let me give it to you from the perspective of a male. Okay, now that's true though. I mean, granted, we do live in a world full of a whole bunch of thirsty, nasty people. But you know, I think that being said, you know, I feel, I definitely feel like OnlyFans is a form of content creation and therefore you have to treat it as such. And you can't expect that, you know, just because you're creating content that a whole bunch of people is, is gonna like, that you're automatically gonna shoot to the top. Just because, you know, you're throwing the thing back and you guzzling down all the juices and whatnot. Oh! It doesn't mean that you're immediately gonna find success. I do know some people personally who have created OnlyFans accounts and they've been pretty successful. However, I also know some other people who did the same thing and you know, they are wondering why, you know, they're not getting any people to buy this stuff. It's, it's not gonna happen for everybody, bro. Just understand that. You're doing a little promo now, but you also posting OnlyFans content on that Twitter page. You're already messing up. Okay. You're already messing up. Let me tell you why. If you're posting the content for free account. already, right. look again. All the, from a consumer's all the, all the mindset, stuff. this is what we see. Your audience, your target, man. If you're posting it for free already, what makes you think 
that we're gonna pay money for. I, I think I'm, I think I might disagree with that. I think because I've definitely seen um, on Twitter. Okay, now mind you, I'm not going around just looking this stuff up. I'm in a committed relationship, bro. Like I'm good. If I if if a girl is you know posting their OnlyFans and they're trying to you know they're trying to show out and all this other stuff, like I'm trying to see what you're trying to show out. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> like am I wrong for thinking that? I don't like if you're not showing what you're trying to show out, then I feel like I'm just gonna move on to somebody who will. You know, I, that's just me though. That's just me. Again, look, I'm not trying to destroy your hustle, ladies. This is just what it is. Oh, Brian, why you worried about how they price themselves? <laughs> Yo, you just getting started and you got your price through the roof. For some, you busting out the gate, fresh on the platform, but only. I mean, he's not wrong, bro. My boy is not wrong. Fans, and you already charge an arm and leg like you got a, like you got an audience. That's like a producer selling beats for a hundred dollars <laughs> when he just started last week. That's kind of facts though, bro. I mean, be reasonable with your content, bro. If you're going to charge for something, make sure you're charging something because literally like, I mean, this is one of the most saturated markets like out there, bro. Like period. So understand that if you're going to have outrageous prices, if you're going to be charging 20, 25, 50, 55, 75, 150, thousand dollars for you know a five set a five minute video bro unless you're a a-list celebrity i'm talking like prettier than rihanna and beyonce i'm talking like supermodel baby like if you're not like that bro i'm not gonna i'm not i'm not no it's, it's just not gonna happen <laughs> do you want hey look do you want customers or not hey look it's no way shape or form am i telling you how to run a business but i'm just come on your customers want to bank for their buck they get a bank for their buck, they tell their boys, you get more subscribers, then you can up the price. Everybody is happy, right? Now look, hold on, before you OnlyFans entrepreneurs close your notepad, open it back up, put my name down, <laughs> and put my 5% cut because... Oh my gosh. Bro, Brian is too funny though. He said, give me my 5% cut, dog. He said, he want a little, he want a little slice. I'm not kidding though, bro. Some OnlyFans people, they be making bank for real, for real. So, you know, I don't blame him for winning a little extra royalty on top of that, you know what I'm saying? Ladies, look, in no way, shape or form, am I telling you how to run a business? If fellas, I'm not telling you what to put your money into. You put your money into whatever you want. That's don't facts. That's facts. Please don't forget the pub is free. You keep these are just my raw unfiltered opinions. <laughs> Listen, man, you know, at the end of the day, I can't tell you what you can and can't do with your body. I can't tell you what you can or can't do with your money. Make smart decisions. Please protect yourself, protect your mental, protect your finances. Just make sure you're taking care of yourself, man. Hey, listen, bro, I appreciate y'all watching the video. Again, make sure you go follow and subscribe, my boy Brian. I'll leave a link to his channel somewhere like right up here or something like that, man. Listen, bro, again, I appreciate y'all. Y'all be easy. Y'all stay positive. Catch on the Peace out, homies. What makes you think business is gonna be booming? What?